hope you can hear me. Am I loud enough? Yes? So I'm the Johnny Come Lately on Council, so I'm needing to read my notes that we gathered here on the traditional land of the Kulin Nation and I pay my respects to Elders past and present and I recognise the luminaries we have with us Carolyn Briggs, Jacob Rubiak, Joseph Toscano, Sharon Firebrace and Robbie Thorpe and it's been a splendid uh, education for me just to be here. I'd like to say is that I'm grateful to have been uh, allowed the opportunity to add my voice today in some small way to support this campaign. This is a really important story which I'm shamed to admit to you that I didn't know anything about until I received the invitation. Now that's not to say that I didn't know about the freedom fighters in the Indigenous uh, community. I was near the Kimberley and discovered a lot of freedom fighting going up there. In fact, it's used as a tourist attraction up there, that up there, a cave where an Indigenous freedom fighter was holed up. But I didn't know that we had equally powerful and important stories to acknowledge in our own town, in my town. So it's terrific that um, I'm able to learn such a lot about this story today. Now, this is my first commemoration ceremony and despite my sad admission, I, I, I want to uh, put it to you that I look around the, the group gathered here and a lot of grey-haired people, my generation, and yes, we don't know a lot, but it was kept from us. So this is the fact of the matter. Those of us who were educated in the 60s, these, they were, these stories were not told. A particular perspective was presented to me. I'm actually an English migrant as well as being an ignorant modern-day Australian of, of, of these stories. I mean, I, I'm i feeling um, a, perhaps a double load of, of uh, guilt and ignorance about all of this. So seriously grateful for the opportunity to get my head around all of this. And what I see here today is a really important and I gather growing group of people who want to spread the message and make sure that people are aware because ignorance is what's going to hinder this campaign to both commemorate these brave men and to bring forward the Indigenous uh, campaign. So it's a question of getting the message across and I'm hoping that our council, now as I said I've joined the council recently but one really really good thing about it is that I'm aware of how hard not only this council but previous councils have been working towards um, establishing uh, a valid claim in, in our city for a memorial and not necessarily a memorial but certainly space for recognising the Indigenous heritage that we have here. So m my view is that the council is doing what it can. My view is that we have to promote this cause, this information more widely to get more people on board and we have to genuinely recognise how proactive and prolonged the campaign, the struggle was waged by these men that we're here to, in fact, strangely celebrate their lives and their deaths today. So I thank the organisers and I congratulate them for this campaign and I'm going to do whatever I can in the short time that I've got on council to advance um, our, our understanding of it all and hopefully move towards commemorating more in a, in a more permanent um, and tangible way. So um, again, thank you all.